We are at Domain de Chevalier with uh, Olivier Bernard. Um, Olivier, if you could please tell us a little bit about the, the 2010 vintage here at Domain de Chevalier. You know, Bordeaux is on the 45 parallel. Um, if you look on the map on Europe, north of this 45 parallel, the vine is mostly white. Mm. So that means that Bordeaux is a little bit north to produce red. It's much easier to produce good red wine in Spain or Italy than in Bordeaux. But to make very elegant wine, Bordeaux or this vineyard close to the 45 are a little bit north, so they have a very long time of maturity between flower and harvest. When I start in 1983, I remember people telling me that uh, we have to wait 113 days. I don't know. I don't know what the meaning of 113 days, but it was between 110 and 115 days between flower and harvest. Now we have more than three weeks later. Wow. That means on, on the last vintage, three, four vintage, we have been to more than 130 days. Wow. So 130 days make a very long time of maturity. And this time of maturity makes the tannin fine. The tannin are made by the fruit, and the tannin are made by the skin of the fruit. And if the skin of the fruit stay a long time on the vine, they will, between day and night, they will contract, they will move, and, and slowly they will fine. If you harvest too early, you will get the grape variety test. But if you have time to wait, long time to wait, you, your tannin will become more and more fine, more and more elegant, more and more precise. And they will lose rusticity. Mm. They will lose the varietal test. That's the reason I like this vineyard a little bit north, was long time. You know, if the Cabernet Sauvignon in October are close to 13, in Bordeaux is one of the only regions in the world where you can still wait one, two, three weeks, even if your Cabernet are 13 in potential yeah. alcohol, because three weeks later, they will never be 14. They will be 13.4, 13.5. But the tannin will be that much right. Oh, of course. Yeah. We never had any days more than 40 degrees Celsius. Yeah. When 2003, we had 20 days more than 40 degrees. And of course, the, the effect of the slightly cool weather is that you preserve the acidity. Of and course. you keep that freshness. And, and the freshness of the fruit. Yeah. The expression of the fruit. Because the, the Sauvignon, like the Sémillon, do not have the color in the skin mm. to protect the juice from the sun. The red color of the skin protects the juice from the sun. But the white do not have this pigmentation, yeah. so there is no protection. So when there is too much sun, but with too much temperature, it's more the temperature than the sun, the, 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 the juice lose its freshness and lose its uh, uh, this expression yeah. this, uh, and, and become a little bit uh, heavy. Mm, exactly. And I don't like this one. I like this version. So 2010, very often I say, because we are on the 45 parallel, the good vintage of Bordeaux are the warm vintage, but the good vintage of white are the cold vintage, because we are on the 45, so we are a little bit too south. If you look on the map, yeah. uh, Alsace, uh, all this uh, wow. winery yeah. are north, yeah. so we are a little bit too south. So the good definition of the good white Bordeaux is a cold vintage when the definition for the good red is a warm vintage. But, but in 2010, you've got the balance between exactly. the two. Exactly, because it's not anymore warm or cold. It's long time of maturity. And I love this long time of maturity who finds this time in day and night, huh? because night is very important too. And, and what's the, the order of harvest here at Dementia Valley? Which, we which always start with the white. Yeah. And if we were, you know, in 2003, we harvest everything in September. We didn't harvest anything in October because everything was finished. Yeah. This year, 
we start in September the white, as you say. Normally we do the white um, um, in the first 15 days of September, but this year um, we, we finish our white in October, which is very rare. Wow. That means that the, when you finish your white in October, that means that the maturity is not big, you know, mm -hmm. yet that you have still to wait. And uh, we have uh, um, a balance in the white, incredible, because this September was very sunny, so we have concentration of the fruit. And, and, and for a white to have concentration of flavor and high acidity, it's yes. going to be very long-lived. Exactly. But at the beginning, like the best champagne, or the best burgundy, or the best Alsace, sometimes your wine will be a little bit closed mm. for the first three, five, seven years. And the people who know, uh, you know, the best champagne arrive on the market ten years later, even the best white of Domaine de Chouilly are always better after 10, 15 years. And 2010 will be certainly one of these vintage.